Hello from Morehouse Farm, home of Critters for Knitters and the first super fine merino sheep farm in the Americas. And today we're going to work on the quill stitch, which is an integral part of our hedgehog mittens. The quill stitch is worked every other stitch in the appointed part of the mitten, and it's worked like this. When you're to the appointed stitch, you're going to follow the instructions one piece at a time. And if it seems like it's a lot going on, it's because it is, but break it down one step at a time and you'll get there. So the first thing we need to do is knit the stitch, but don't drop the stitch off the left hand needle. If we were doing that, it would look like this. That's normal knitting, but we wanna do what the instructions say not knit the entire stitch. So instead of dropping the old stitch off the left-hand needle, we are going to slip the new stitch back on to the left-hand needle. So now I've got an extra stitch on here. I'm going to do that to get a total of four stitches cast on. So here's my original stitch. Here's number one. We're going to knit into that new stitch, not drop it off put the new stitch back on. So there's number two. We'll knit number three and then knit number four. Notice I'm not trying to pull them very tight because that makes it hard to get the needle in when I'm ready to work the next stitch, okay? So I have my original plus the four that I cast on. Now I'm going to bind off three stitches, okay? so. In order to bind off three stitches, I need to knit one, I need to knit the second one, and then I pass the first over the second. That's one stitch bound off. There's two. There's three. Just like most bind offs you learn as a new knitter. Now, before binding off the fourth stitch, we need to knit through the back loop of this stitch. This is the one that we knit into originally to create the new stitches with the cast on, so it's a little stretched out. So if we knit it through the back leg, okay, which just happens to twist that stitch that closes that hole, and then we can bind off that fourth stitch, and there you have a quill. So let's do that again. Okay, cast on one, put it on the left needle, cast on two, put it on the left needle, cast on three. Again, if I've pulled it too tight or pushed it too far down my left needle, that makes it harder to work, so just pay attention to that. And if I ever get confused because I've been talking, that's my original, one, two, three, so I need one more. On it goes. Now I'm gonna bind off. So in order to bind off one, I knit one, I knit a second, and I bind off one. I bind off two. I bind off three. Before I bind off number four, I'm twisting that stitch. And there we go. Now let me show you with a throwing technique. Same idea, but we're wrapping the yarn, putting it back on the needle. There's one, two, three, four. Okay, now we bind off. To bind off one, we need to knit two, pass first over the second, There's the second one bound off. Third one bound off. Twist that last stitch to close that hole. And that's number four. And as you get faster at this, you'll notice yourself taking little shortcuts because you can. One, two, three, four. 
do I really need to take this needle out? No, because I'm gonna knit this one again and knit the second one to bind off. So that'll save me a little bit of motion. One, two, three, and four. And there you have it, the quills for the Morehouse Hedgehog.